Hello everyone. So in our previous two chapters, we have studied about the form of energy which we call light. We have looked at some interesting properties of light and we have also seen the phenomena of reflection and refraction of light. In this chapter, we'll move a little ahead and we'll study about how we as human beings are able to perceive light. So let me ask you the same question again here. How are we able to see? Well, we have studied that light bounces off various objects around us to reach our eyes, thus enabling us to see all those objects. Now take a scenario here. What if a person enters a darkened room? They won't be able to see anything which is there in the room, right? Why does this happen? Well, there's no light in the room that can bounce off the objects in the room to reach the person's eye. Now suppose if the person switches on the bulb. Now the light which is coming from the bulb reaches all the objects in the room and bounces off the surface of all these objects to reach the person's eyes, thus enabling him to see all the objects in the room. But there's one important thing that we have overlooked here, that we have taken for granted without actually trying to understand it properly. How do our eyes enable us to see these objects? What is it that goes on within our eyes that helps us see all the objects which are around us? These are the questions that we'll answer in this particular topic. To interact with and experience the world that is around us, our human body has some special organs. These organs are called sense organs. Now there are five senses that human beings can feel. Touch, taste, sound, smell and sight. So our eyes are the organ which help us feel the sensations of sight and help us see the beautiful and colorful world that we live in. So we'll study about the human eye in a little more detail in the further lectures. We'll also study about some important other phenomena which are shown by light. See you in the next lecture.